It's day 3 and I spent all night, surprise surprise, mining iron and stone. So finally I have cooking pot and cooking grill. Mm, I need to make glass jars. I have some bones so I can craft at camp station glue. And glue means duct tape and duct tape means repair kits and other stuff. You see what they did during night? Oh my god, it's deep! Crap. I need to fill this up with spikes, so nobody else will ever want to go down there. There was a wandering horde during night time that did this. I filled it up and the water took over. Well, this is ugly. This is ugly, but whatever, I need that place to be safe, because I will be mining there. Iron miner, sir. Time to get some food. He's happy. Bob is happy. Okay, I need some money to get food. Let's sell this, yeah. 462 coins. I think there was a meat stew. Yesterday... Ah, here we go. I will buy it. I will need that. Oh, potato... Probably will take that later. And junk turret. This one I will buy, definitely. 380... Can I buy it now? I don't have enough money, do I? No, I don't. I need 150 more coins. Well... At least I will not die from starvation. But if I keep mining like that, I am eating a lot of food. I am burning a lot of calories. Really, a lot. Tomorrow, traders will restock their items. I really hope I can find there something cool. Like vehicle, bullets, workbench. Maybe I can buy workbench. But now it's time to mine more iron. Let's cook some glue. Having access early on to a working camp station is great, as that will allow me to make my own repair kits. All I need is bones and murky water, well and forged iron. Cement mixer is not that of a big deal, but if I have one working one, why not use it? Make some sand out of stone, I have a lot of stone. I have some coins, so let's buy mushrooms and potatoes, why not? Those will become useful later on. And the junk turret. 380, how much I'm missing? 50. 20, 30, 40, 50. And I am proud owner of brand new junk turret. Oh, you come already preloaded. That's nice, Bob. That's very nice. Thank you. 67. Let's pick up glue. But this junk turret will help me a lot. My only true buddy in this nightmare. Looking forward to test this one out. I never used junk turrets, so this will be my first time using junk turrets. I might even level up in that. Clawhammer, it's expensive, but I will need to make one at about range. Oh, I need to invest in salvage operations, junk collector, to be able to craft ranges. Well, let's do that. Okay, to make a workbench I will need forged iron, mechanical parts, wood, wrench and a claw hammer. Mechanical parts I don't have enough. Wrench and claw hammer probably I can make. Well, I will have to go out and range more cars. I also need electrical parts, mechanical parts, and other crap for my defenses. But that claw hammer is expensive. Level 5. It's really expensive. G6. 36 forged iron, yeah. 
6 leather and 6 duct tape. I only have 6 leather left. Well, again, cars. Cars give you leather. If you don't want to kill animals or try to go inside buildings and find leather chairs and couches. For me, probably cars is safest bet to get leather. Unless I see some wolf or boar. Let's craft iron pickaxe for now so I can go and mine more iron. I need to keep my beast running, my forge. And this beast is eating all, not only iron and stone, but also clay, and a lot of clay. That's what I'll be doing now. Oh, there's a zombie running. There's a zombie. But she is running somewhere, so I guess it's a horde. Oh, check this out, this is scary. One, two, three, four, five. And they are running, like ten of them, maybe even more. Go away, stupid zombies. I just had a whore during night time. They dug a hole very close to my mine. Yeah, encountering these guys outside my defenses would be very bad. I have some bullets now, but still. I need AK for this. Pistol might not be enough. And now I want to get more stone before tomorrow's traders reset. I have high hopes for tomorrow. Maybe a better gun, maybe a vehicle. I would actually love to buy a bicycle. I should be able to afford one. So now I'm just going underground and making a tunnel somewhere. In this case north. Okay, you see, I found lead. Basically, if you dig any directions, sooner or later you will find something. And there's nitrate right here. Wow. It's quite close to my home, so I'm really happy. Now I only need to find coal. Then I can go and use Bob's camp station and craft gunpowder. Let me mark this place. You see, it's very close from my home and I can come here anytime I need. If I do more digging, maybe I can find coal. And that would mean unlimited supply of gunpowder. Unlimited bullets. I like to mine from top to bottom, so usually I make a staircase and then start mining there and go down one layer at a time. That way I can take all resources there and almost nothing collapses on my head. It's very easy to mine here because nitrate is everywhere. And I can just move around and take one layer at a time. I oh, know I need auger. I need auger for this. Wow, and I got diamond. I think I got one diamond. I got diamond, raw diamond. Can I make this uh, diamond blade deep mod? Yeah. Now I need to find right book and I will be able to craft this mod. And I leveled up. Let's invest some more skill points in advanced engineering. And finally, I'm electrician. Finally. Craft chemistry stations and craft items, yeah, I will need that at some point. Craft advanced medical items such as first aid bandages, uh, cooking pot and pressure plate mines, gasoline and oil. Well, I know where desert is. I will have to go there anyway. I even got some gold nuggets. As you can see, getting resources is not that hard. You just need to spend some time. Even with iron pickaxe, it's easy. Investing in mother load helps, obviously. Also got some nitrate, 6.5 thousand. I got diamond, I got uh, gold nuggets and I got some lead and stone. Stone I want to sell as much as I can. Obviously gold nuggets I will sell. Raw diamond I will keep for my diamond blade tip. Cooked some food. Used these 10 potatoes. For now I have enough food. I can start building my 
hide out deep underground where I will keep all my chests, all my resources, forges, workbenches, camp stations and other stuff. Bedroll. That will be a place connected by tunnels with all my bases and underground mines. I will have to clear this place from stone. And what's funny, I can sell that stone and get some bullets and other stuff. Well, in time. Speaking about stone, I'm greedy, so I will invest more skill points in bartering skill. So my stone will become more expensive. I will max out my bartering skill eventually. I'm using trader heavily. I crafted some hatches for my blood moon base. Okay, this is all money. Let's take as much as I can. Most likely the trader will not buy all of them, but I don't know how many I will be able to sell. Probably 3-4 stocks. I have high hopes for you. Seven sixty two ammo, okay. Uh, mechanical parts. You have mechanical parts. I need mechanical. Oh, four thousand. No, thank you. I might buy several, but it's easier just to go and get from cars. Beaker. Actually, beaker. I would like to buy bullet casings. Maybe if I have workbench. Military gloves. A uh, helmet light mode. Actually, that might be useful. Very useful. AK level 4. 9 mil. Okay, you have 9 mil ammo. That's really great from you. That's really great. I need that. Machine gun level 4. Also, I need that. Anvil 400. SMG auto turret. Pistol beat. More accurate than rapid firing. Okay. Bone, iron or steel, it doesn't matter, it, it cuts blade weapons, deal more damage. Oh, machine gun, M60. I don't have machine gun parts. Bicycle, you have bicycle, 4.2 thousand. Okay. You know what? I think I will buy it. Anvil schematic, 1.3 thousand. Expensive and I need one. Okay, let's sell as much as I can. 322, 1.4 almost. 2 stacks. 3 stacks. Okay, you only buy 3 stacks. I have 4 point. I can afford bicycle, but that's it. Bicycle? Oh, I really want to buy that bicycle, really. I need workbench as well. For workbench I need cars, mechanical parts. Um, I think I'll buy bicycle. First of all, I'm tired of sneaking around. How much I can sell forged iron? Okay, what about junk turret? You know what? Junk turret ammo seems to be a good choice to get money. I think I will start crafting and selling it. Otherwise, I need to find other traders to whom I can sell stone. I wonder what they are doing with that stone. Bob, what are you doing with stone? Do you even know that I sold you stone? Probably not. Only 3 iron you need for junk turret ammo. And 11 and 5 clay for forged iron. Yeah, I think I will sell this. Go and make some more. I also believe that you can sell unlimited amount of ammo to this guy, so I won't be limited to three stacks, but I might be wrong. No, first bicycle. Helmet light will be next, beaker will be next, and I also need bullets actually. Bullets I need badly. Bicycle. I'm proud owner of shiny new yellow bicycle. I'm mobile. And with remaining money I will buy as many bullets as I can. I need all these bullets. Well, eventually I will buy them. We'll go and craft some junk turret ammo and trade that for 9mm bullets. How does that sound? 